New this morning in Elkhart, a special meeting sent for today may mark the end of an eight month long sewer debate. Controversy sparked when business owners outside the city limits were asked to sign a compact policy increasing their sewer rates. But business owners said it would cost them too much to operate. Months later, council members are now finally expected to vote on some sort of compromise. For a breakdown, let's get right to ABC 57's Eric Stelzer. He joins us live at Elkhart City Hall with more. Eric? Hey Jesse, good morning. We'll expect some heated debate here in the council chambers later tonight. The council along with the mayor have been trying to fix the problem here in Elkhart for a while, but can't come to any type of agreement. Mayor Dick Moore is pushing for a 35% plan that sends profits from sewer fees to the greater Elkhart fund. And Republicans are favoring a 15% fee going towards the utility department. The delay has business owners here on edge in Elkhart. Many have been at these meetings at City Hall and not happy with the possibility of an increase in fees. Some say the bills are already high as it is and think it could lead to some businesses leaving the area. Now that meeting tonight where they're going to discuss this sewage issue, that's expected to start around 730 here at City Hall. And although they are going to probably, uh, well, they will be talking about this later tonight, there is no guarantee that they will come to an agreement. Reporting live in Elkhart, Eric Stelzer, ABC 57 News. Indiana farmers are waging war on a foreign disease killing pigs. Still to come, how the recent swine deaths will affect your next trip to the grocery store. Welcome back. It is 544 in the morning. One man finds out what it's like on the other side of the spectrum after he becomes a fish's catch. Now you got to see this video. Check it out. Talk about trading places. As you can see, the fisherman is wrist deep in what appears to be a monkfish. Now the man is forced to pry the fish's massive mouth open. The fish may have latched onto the man's arm while he was fishing with his bare hands. It's called a practice called noodling, often used to catch catfish. In the end, the man ma managed to escape its toothy grip. Now check out this kitty struggling to squeeze through a doggy door. Now the furry feline weighs in at a whopping 26 pounds. The plump cat, who sort of looks like Garfield, was caught on video struggling to get a grip on the floor. Now eventually it pulls itself through the tight opening. I hate to say it, but that's one fat cat. You know, cat. <laughs> When you need a diet, people or cats, when you can't fit in the door. That's when you know you need a diet. It's time to, time to look at dietary options. Frisky's healthy or something. Something like that. Maybe the kitty treadmill. Got to get out there. You know, they, that cat maybe next year's beach season could be, you know. Fit. Could be fit and be out there. But until then, that's one fat cat.